I'm Eduardo Reategui. Uh, I'm assistant professor at the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at The Ohio State University. My research plan in for the ERCC Stage 2 is basically we are um, trying to develop a platform technology that is um, microfluidic based that incorporates microdomains such that uh, these extracellular vesicles can be uh, sorted, isolated and the RNA uh, and doing also the RNA an analysis at a single vesicle level. Since my extracellular vesicles are very small and what we were trying to do is we want to be as accurate as possible. A microdomain basically is a very tiny space inside a microfluidic channel in which we are going to put a very specific type of surface chemistry. And this surface chemistry is going to have very uh, specific antibodies that are going to allow us to select these subpopulations of extracellular vesicles. Also, um, in this microdomain, there's also uh, going to be, um, it's going to be uh, discretized in such a way that you only can capture a um, limited number of EVs because the overall goal of this project is that you want to have single EV resolution. The analysis of the cargo is going to be done um, um, uh, in a second stage and that consists basically we are going to add uh, molecular beacons, but these molecular beacons are going to be encapsulated in uh, liposomes. And the principle here is that you are going to be being used a charge um, 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 because these liposomes are going to be positively charged, EVs are negatively charged. Just driving by this interaction by charge, they are going to fuse. And as they fuse, these molecular beacons that are uh, capturing these uh, liposomes are going to be in contact with our target RNA and the fluoropore is going to be released and we will get our signal. This microfluidic platform is going to be uh, coupled with a um, microscope, is total internal reflection uh, microscopy is what we're using here and uh, they are going to be imaged uh, through the bottom and uh, one requirement here is that the EVs and, um, and the fused liposomes are very close to the surface of the glass to be um, in the order uh, of the resolution of, of, of what the microscope requires. The focus of my laboratory is uh, to use extracellular vesicles for diagnostic uh, per, uh, purposes. Basically, we, we develop multiple types of these microfluidic platforms. But in the past, what we try to use or that we, we, we use is uh, we do the bulk analysis of the, of the cargo of these EVs. So basically, we isolate these EVs and then we just do either way uh, lysis, ly lysis of all of them and then we, we analyze their protein content or their RNA content. And now, with this, um, with this award, what we're going to be able to do is, is we're going to take this one step further, such that now we are not only going to be able to sort of like uh, look at this bulk content of, of the vesicles, but now we're going to be able to do a much more detailed analysis of these subpopulations, since we are going to be uh, doing at a single EP vesicle, a single vesicle level. This actually goes back to my years when I was a postdoc at uh, Boston in Massachusetts General Hospital. Uh, there I started working um, in uh, the, the development of microfluidics for the analysis of uh, or for the isolation of circulating tumor biomarkers. Actually it started with uh, circulating tumor cells. But then uh, through collaborations from my PI there uh, I, I, uh, I start having contact with Sandra Breckfield and he introduced me to the field so I, I actually start working with her in uh, the, the isolation of um, extracellular vesicles from, from glioblastoma uh, patient samples from serum and, uh, and that's how actually uh, you know I get much more excited in this field so, and when I started my lab basically uh, I would say that the focus is in extracellular vesicles. I think it's a great environment for me because, you know, I'm not on, only new to this consortium, I'm also a new PI because I, I'm relatively a new faculty. Um, and, uh, but what I have seen is that it's a, a very open, a col collaborative community, which I think is great in terms of like really bringing this field forward.